PTC still doesn't get it, and they never will. Um, but folks at Kepware uh, should know um, Adam Kennedy and Litmus had nothing to do with the video we posted yesterday. Take zero. All right. Here is the follow-up from yesterday's video. We talked about uh, PTC and Kepware and, you know, Kepware is a dying company and it's all PTC's fault. Every word in that video, you can independently corroborate on your own. There's nothing in that video that isn't factual. It is 100% right. I care about being right. I don't care about being liked, okay? It wasn't easy for me to write that, shoot that video yesterday, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the whole, everything that led up to shooting that video. A year and a half ago, I got the first rumblings that PTC was um, shopping Kepware. Uh, I knew that Kepware was losing market share a couple of years ago. Um, I knew that there was pro there were problems in the product development team years ago. I've been fighting them probably since 2016. Um, I I have been I talked yesterday a lot about some of the institutional issues at Kepware that are leading to Kepware being driven off a cliff. Um, if you want that stuff, watch the video yesterday. Well, I want to I want to clarify something here yesterday. What is the relationship between Litmus and Adam Kennedy? and the video we shot yesterday. Adam Kennedy used to work at Kepware and now he's at Litmus. So the perception could be that Litmus basically orchestrated that video yesterday. First off, anyone who thinks that a, that a vendor is gonna be able to orchestrate me shooting a video is a fucking idiot. They obviously don't know me, okay? I have publicly criticized Litmus. I, I, my job is to give the community my honest opinion based on my experience, my expertise, and my relationships and observations. That's what we do here. Why? Why do we do that? Because our mission is to help save and create middle-class jobs through manufacturing. Okay, that's our mission. We do that based on five core values, transparency, authenticity, expertise, humility, and servant leadership. Servant leadership was yesterday. Doing, doing un, for those you lead in spite of those you lead. That's what that was. Okay, that's what that was. That was me being transparent. It was me being authentic. It was me being an expert. And it was me focusing on the things I'm good at. Okay, that's humility. And surrounding myself with people who are good at the things I'm not. I exercised all five core values in service of the mission yesterday. Okay, what's the relationship between Litmus, Adam Kennedy, and that video? Here it is. The only thing I got from the Litmus, vi Litmus visit, Monday and Tuesday. I shot the video Wednesday because of... I learned by doing the deep dive at Litmus through their strategic, you know, going through their strategic plan, looking, doing a deep dive on the platform architecture, um, getting to meet the developers, uh, the leadership, spending two days asking them really hard questions. What I learned was just how far behind Kepware was. And I love Kepware. I do not believe any good comes from Kepware any good comes from Kepware uh, dying. I believe that Litmus needs a competitor, okay? In a perfect world, if Litmus are orchestrated that video, then why in a perfect world, I would say, Kepware and Highbyte should merge? Why would I say that? Because that's not in Litmus's best interest. It's not in Litmus's best interest that Kepware and Highbyte merge. It's in Litmus's best interest that they buy Kepware. Okay, I think both are good for the community. I think the first one, Highbyte and Kepware merging, is best. Number two, Adam Kennedy is one of the most ethical people I've ever met in my entire life. All of you who work with Adam Kennedy, okay, you know how ethical he is. There are people at PTC and Kepware who are reaching out to Adam and blaming him for that video yesterday. They're not reaching out to me and blaming me. There's nobody from PTC or Kepware who's reached out with me, reached out to me so far. You want to know why? Because it's 100% true in that video. If there was anything in that video that wasn't true, they would have reached out to me and corrected it. And they would have asked for a correction. You know the only person who asked me to put any correction? Adam Kennedy. Hey, Walker, could you clarify that I didn't tell you any of that stuff? Absolutely, brother. I got you. Litmus didn't tell me any of that stuff. What I learned at Litmus 
was that Kepler is fucked. They're more fucked than I thought they were. Okay, I already knew Kepler was losing market share. I already knew that their product wasn't innovating. I've been evaluating them. I've been using them since the early 2000s and I've been deeply evaluating them for more than a decade. Okay, it's my job to know this stuff. But all you need to know as a consumer is how PTC responded. Whenever Adam Kennedy talks about Kepler and PTC, he only has glowing things to say about Kepler, about the people at Kepler and the platform at Kepler. That's it. Has he ever given me any details in insider baseball? Of course not. Why? Because he's an ethical guy. Adam Kennedy happens to be one of the six or seven people in this industry. If they call, I will come running. I'll drop everything and I'll be there. Rick Bellotta is another one. Jeff Nepper from Flows, uh, from Flow Software. Eric Marendette from Tulip. Dave Hellyer from Tatsoft. Eric Kimberling. Okay. If uh, Travis Cox from Inductive Automation. There is a handful of people that if they call me, I'm coming. And you want to know what all those people have in common? They are some of the most ethical, honest, and stand-up people who care about this industry I've ever met. We share common values. There is nobody who has ever worked with me who will say that I did them dirty, that I screwed them over, that I stabbed them in the back. I only work with people who do those things. I only work with people who don't stab people in the back. I only work with people who do the right thing. What I care about in that video yesterday is whether I'm right. I don't care how PTC and Kepware feel. I made, a st I made an offer in that video. And the reason I'm making that call to action is there are customers out there. There's a huge install base out there who currently have Kepware. If Kepware doesn't innovate, those manufacturers aren't innovating. Which means there's going to be more and more conversions from Kepware to Litmus. Okay, competition in the market is good. Competition drives Litmus to improve. I am trying to drive PTC to sell Litmus or it's to sell Kepware so Kepware can improve. But in order for that to happen, PTC has got to decouple Thingworks from Kepware. Thingworks is an anchor. The whole goal of the video yesterday was two things. Number one, Kepware, you are in trouble. PTC, let them go. And the new buyer, change the product development team. Get rid of the product leadership. They've had their chance. They haven't delivered. That is beyond debate. Okay? If the product owner at Kepware disagrees with me, if your feelings are hurt, I don't care. If you disagree with me on the facts, have a debate with me about it. You, I invited you to come on the podcast. I'm inviting anyone from Kepler, anyone from PTC, to come on the podcast and make the case for why I am wrong. You won't. That's why you're not texting me. That's why you're not DMing me on LinkedIn. You, it's why what you're doing is you're attacking Adam Kennedy privately and hoping that he would pressure me to take the video down. Guess what? I offered to take the video down. And he said, no, he said, absolutely not. I would never ask you to do that. Why? Because he's an ethical guy. He isn't going to try to control the message through his relationships. He cares about being right. Adam Kennedy had nothing to do with the video I shot yesterday. Litmus had nothing to do with the video I shot yesterday. At all. And all the community needs to know is how PTC reacted. PTC didn't confront the facts. They didn't. Okay? This is a calculated move on my part. I know full well how angry everyone was going to get. I said it in the video yesterday. But the fact of the matter is, Kepler only survives if PTC, a company that buys intellectual property they don't understand and then tries to sell it at all costs to anyone who will buy it, if they don't sell them and decouple thing works in the sale. That's it. And I want the community to tell me why they're working with PTC if PTC is a company that does that kind of crap. All right, like, subscribe, comment down below. Bye.